Hey guys, this is Mikhail from Device Deal, and today we're going to show you how to set up the TP-Link Deco system. Now for today's example, we're going to be using the M5, but uh, as you can see, there are other models and they all follow the exact same procedure. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to do the app setup process. So just keep in mind that there was one or two things that's been mentioned in the instructions that we did slightly differently with the same result, um, but at, at the end of the day, we got the same. So uh, we'll show you to start. So you'll open up your app and set up your account and then eventually get to this screen here. So firstly, you'll just need to identify which your machine is. So in our case, we're setting up the M5 today. It'll just mention what's included. Now this is the part that we actually didn't follow, but for those guys that just want to make sure that there's no issues encountered, that you can start off by powering off your modem, uh, but in our case we didn't. Then you'll need to plug in your devices, so including the LAN connection from your node to the router. So as, you know, as I said, we did this a little differently because we did this setup part beforehand and didn't really restart the modem. We found it still worked, but I guess as far as TP-Link are concerned, just to make sure that there's no issues at all, I would recommend following their instructions. Then once we've done that, you'll need to check the modem. So just to make sure that the relevant LED light is popping up. So for our case, we can see all is clear. Then we'll just need to power on the deco and wait until the LED light pulses blue. So in our case, which we can see here, light is flashing blue, which is great. So that means that it's ready to go. As it mentions, LED light is pulsing blue. Also important to mention that you will need to have your Bluetooth switched on throughout this process. So if there's no Bluetooth connected on your phone, you won't be able to get through any of this. So definitely make sure the Bluetooth is set up. Then you can choose where the setup is. So in our case, we'll just say it's the office. You can link the connection type. We're just gonna leave ours as dynamic just to keep it simple. But if you wanna go through, uh, I guess, more depth of your settings, you can either select here or go under the VLAN settings. Again, for us to keep it simple and quick, we're just gonna keep it as the default Mac, but for those that wanna use custom, you do have that option there. And now it's just creating the network. So from there, you can just pick whatever you want. For our case, we're just gonna use our company name and set a password. And there you have it. So the network is created. So we're just gonna to connect to it now. So if you're gonna add a second device, then this is where you'll do it. So, you know, if you've got either a two pack or a three pack, you can go through here and just add the other one. You also don't have to do that part now. So you can do that at a later date, you know, try to test and see where you really need the connection. So you can set up the first, do your tests, and then find out exactly where the nodes are most suitable to go. Okay, now that we've got these things up and running, let's do a speed test to see how good they really are. So, We've done a setup and now we're going to do a speed test which you can actually find on our website at devicedeal.com.au So as you can see we're getting really really good speeds here. I believe we're on a 100 meg plan so to be getting in those early bit 90s really shows that our router is giving us the best of our abilities right now. On top of that you can see we've also got some really strong upload speeds as well at over 40 megs a second. Okay, so now we're coming down to our bottom level. So remember, we set up our initial node in the very top level, and now we've gone two levels down to do another test to see how good we're looking.
So as you can see, even just with one node, two levels above us, we're still showing really, really good speeds. Obviously not quite as good as being right next to the initial node, but for only being, for being two levels down, this is still really, really good. All right, so we showed you before a speed test with only our one initial node, which is plugged in two stories above us. Now what we're gonna do is connect a second node on the same level of where we are right now and see if we get any better speeds. Take a look. So first we're gonna open up your app. You'll see the screen in front. You just wanna do the add little plus button on the top. As we're adding another node deco, we're gonna use that. Find your model. So you can mix and match, but we're gonna just keep it with the M5s as we've got. You can set up your, your scenario. In our case, we're doing a third floor. So we'll select the third. Then again, as before, we'll just need to plug in the deco, which we've already done, until you see a pulsing blue light, as you can see. Then on the screen, you'll confirm that it's pulsing, just like before, and the device will have a look for it itself. And there you go, just like that. It's already connected. Now, we'll just leave it as office. Location doesn't matter too much in that regard. And there we go, we're complete. See how easy it is to connect new nodes? And you can do this as much as you like down the track. So there you have it, we've tested our new Deco systems. As you can see, we were really pleased with the results, in particular the speeds that we could get on each level of our, of our building here, uh, even getting our fastest speed of over 90 megs even on our downstairs level. So really, really promising stuff. Uh, and again, as I mentioned in the last video, it's super easy to set up. The whole process took only a couple minutes and even just going into the future, the app, the app kind of follow through is just really consistent. So uh, I would highly recommend this product. And hopefully you guys will see you next time. Hopefully like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.